Officials in Ivory Coast have reportedly arrested a military leader believed to be behind one of the worst post-election massacres in 2011. Amande Uremi fought alongside forces backing the then president Alassane Ouattara in post-election violence in 2011. Since then, his men have been illegally occupying a national park. Orime has been a known supporter of Alassane Ouattara since 2000 when he began hoarding weapons and ammunition. Ouattara was elected Iverian president in 2011. However, after the election, Ouattara's opponent and former president, Laurent Gbagbo, refused to acknowledge his loss, sparking a bloody civil war. Bagbo is currently awaiting trial at an international criminal court accused of crimes against humanity, which include mass killings. According to the BBC, some reports say Urume turned himself in. Human rights groups criticize the government for not being more proactive in the arrest. It is not clear if Urume has been charged, but he and his men are said to be responsible for the mass murders of Bagbo supporters. Most notably, the Due Kue massacre at the end of March. It is estimated up to 800 people were murdered and 30,000 fled and are now displaced, afraid to go back. These people are citizens, Ivorians. They must go back to their villages because they can't stay here forever. Most of them voted for Laurent Bagbo, the beaten president. They fear reprisals if they return to their villages, and they say killings are still happening. Since the post-election violence began three years ago, an estimated 3,000 people have been killed. For Newsy, I'm Jasmine Bailey.